So we're going to talk about our two tucker arm uh, mess ties that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about tucker arm adjustment and start on a starting off point. This is our needle roller right down here. This is our top needle roller. This is our tucker arm roller right here. This is the right hand edge of our roller. We want that edge to be lined up with the center of our needle roller. If it's not, you'll take your twine bar, go down in here and adjust it to the left or to the right. Now, as we come over to this needle right here, we've got the twine coming up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this twine and we're gonna just set it over here to the left. Now we'll go ahead and we'll run this up and show you the mist tie. Okay, so if we come back here, if we had a bale of hay in the back, what you're going to see is this twine would still be on top of the bell with no knot in it. So you would continue to bell your hay and pretty soon you're going to have one string, this top string wrapped around two bells. When you find yourself like that, so out in the field, you're gonna find that this, you're gonna have a really long string laying out in the field. Oh, that's telling you that you're having uh, a tucker arm mist tie. So to correct that, you've got to come down here. You're going to take your pry bar and you're going to push right here and you're going to bend that tucker arm to the right. And that's how you adjust it from when your twine has gone to the left of your needle, which means that your top string is now wrapped around two bells. So the other tucker arm mist tie that we have is if the if the twine is over here and to the right right of the needle. Now remember that so this is your your needle right down here. This is your tucker arm roller right up here. So this right hand roller we want it in line with the center of our tucker of our needle as it's coming up right here and it's on the flat side of your of your needle that you're checking with it up against the side of, of your frame. So we're going to run this needle up just a little bit more. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip this twine over on the right hand side of the needle. and we'll see the mist tie we get. You can see that this twine is wrapped around up here on the top of our bill hook. So this is what I refer to as that we've thrown a half hitch up around the top of our bill hook tongue. So this is the typical mist tie that you get when the, the twine has gone to the right. And so, and this is our most common mist tie. So you're gonna come right down here with your pry bar and you're going to bend this to the left to be able to to fix that. Um, the thing to remember is if you go too far to the left, 
you're going to cause the very first mist tie that we talked about and you'll just have a great big long uh, string around two bells. Now let's go ahead and we're going to lift this up right here. Just a reminder, I always like to put these cotter pins back in. And also I always like to grab right here as I'm coming up. Um, if not, if you're grabbing over here, as you can see, if you were grabbing there, this knife arm's gonna come over and pinch that. It, since I had to cut the twine, it didn't, we weren't able to show you the mist tie, but in the field, you'll lift this up and that twine will be wrapped around up, up on the shank of your bill hook. So that's your two different twine, uh, tucker arm mist ties that you can have.